the market started out positive again. We've seen this happen in this downtrend where they open and trade it positive. By the end of the day, they bring it back down. However, there's a difference in today's positive trading. We were finally down into the oversold area. We got two messages here. One is we're getting close to the 200 day moving average and two we are already oversold. So what are the uh, possibilities? Because of candlestick uh, analysis being so easy to identify patterns, we can see that we almost had a bullish engulfing signal in the Dow today. I say almost. It was just within pennies of the open. However, that is still a fine uh, hair to uh, to uh, put into the equation because it isn't a bullish engulfing signal. The prognosis should be that we might be in an, a bounce back up to the T-line. So that may give us a day or two of positive trading. Then we might see a failure back to the 200. Now, if we have this type of situation, what opportunities or what should, be, what should we do in this type of situation? Candlestick analysis also makes that a very simple answer. Because of the easy scanning capabilities of candlestick signals and patterns, we can see that there was a fry pan bottom setup in PCYC. We reiterated this as a buy due to the fact that Friday was a big down day, but we can see that even on the pullback, the close was finally back up in the trajectory of this fry pan bottom. We know from the patterns that the the uh, power or the input into the pattern is more powerful than the effect of the market uh, conditions in general. This told us that if the market was going to open positive today, we wanted to be a buyer. It also told us if the market opened positive today and sold off in the afternoon, that the pattern, the fry pan bottom, still probably had enough strength in it that if it came up strong and then sold off, it probably wouldn't sell off as much uh, as a normal stock in a trend. So this gives us a double advantage that if the market was moving up, we could take or participate in it. If the market was moving up but still heading down overall by the end of the day, that this pattern would still work positive for us. That same scenario was uh, the cause for our recommendation on HALO today. It opened positive coming out of this fry pan bottom. It just broke up through the uh, T line on Friday. Now remember, Friday was a big down day, yet the uh, force of this trend was still moving positive. This also gave us the uh, impetus to that if we saw a positive open today, that this pattern would still keep fulfilling itself. That if the market moved up, we were going to move up. If it backed off, it probably wasn't going to back off a whole lot based upon the pattern itself. The advantage of candlestick analysis is that it puts into a graphic depiction where the buying and selling forces are occurring. And it gives you an extra step or an extra element to analyze which positions you should be in at the appropriate times of a, uh, a general market trend. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.